In recent weeks, Russia has begun using special drones designed to detect and photograph Ukrainian air defense systems. The two new types of drones that occupation forces have used in five attacks in the past two to three weeks are made of materials such as foam and plywood, military intelligence spokesman Andriy Cherniak told Reuters. One type is equipped with a camera and a SIM card from a Ukrainian mobile operator to send images to Russian military personnel. They are determining where our mobile groups are located, where the machine guns are that they can destroy. They are trying to get an idea of where all our air defense systems are located, Cherniak said. This shows that Russia is seeking to adapt its tactics and test new technologies to gain an advantage during daily missile and drone strikes on Ukrainian cities and infrastructure, the publication notes. According to Cherniak, the new Russian drones with cameras do not carry explosives but are very similar to the regular Shahed and fly in groups. The second new type of drone does not contain explosives or only a small charge and is used as bait, he added. But since it is virtually indistinguishable from a conventional attack drone from the ground, it still needs to be shot down. However, this could potentially give away the location of Ukraine's air defense systems. Cherniak says the new drones will likely cost as little as $10,000 each, making them much cheaper to produce than the air defense missiles that must be used to shoot down the drones. The drones can also fly at an altitude of 1,000 meters, putting them out of range of machine guns and automatic rifles, he said. As reported, Ukraine will receive the Hawk air defense missile system from Spain. It is expected that by September, our country will have a fully operational installation that will enhance the air defense potential. In July, the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine showed how the Ukrainian sky is protected by the American Hawk. This weapon is designed to eliminate various missiles, but our soldiers managed to shoot down drones of the Shahed type thanks to it. The main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry has struck three Russian helicopters on territory of Russia, the agency reported on Saturday. According to sources within Ukrainian special services, Russian Mi-28 and Ka-226 helicopters were struck on the territory of National Helicopter Manufacturing Center Mill and Kamov Joint Stock Company on the night leading to July 21st in Tomolino settlement in Russia's Moscow region. Mill and Kamov is an aircraft manufacturing enterprise that specializes in the development, production and repair of helicopters. The helicopters were hit as a result of sabotage activities by the main intelligence directorate. The third Russian helicopter was struck on the territory of the Kryaz airfield in Samara on July 24. The targeted helicopter was a multi-purpose Mi-8. In addition, as a result of the operation carried out by the main intelligence directorate on the morning of July 27, Russian military airfields were attacked in the city of Engels in the Saratov region, Dyajalevo airfield in the Ryazan region and Olenia airfield in Murmansk region. An oil refinery in Ryazan was also hit as a result of a kamikaze drone attack. <laughs>